Glory to God. Hallelujah. Settle down. We need you, Lord. Hallelujah. He says, settle down. We need you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Settle down. We need you, Lord. Hallelujah. Settle down. We need you, Lord. Hallelujah. Settle down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He said, settle down. Ha. Settle down. We need you, Lord. Settle down. We need you, Lord. Hallelujah. Settle down. We need you, Lord. Settle down, we need you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're just preparing a place for the Lord to meet us where we are. Hallelujah, Lord, you are welcome here. He says, settle down, we need you, Lord. He said, it's time to rest in me. Settle down, we need you, Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, yes. Settle down. We need you, Lord. Hallelujah. Settle down. We need you, Lord. God bless you, Santa. Settle down. Hallelujah. So, Father God, we thank you. We thank you for a place of peace, a place of rest, a place of purity. You are welcome here. You are welcome here this day because this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is your day. This is your month. This is your year. This is your decade. We will settle down, hallelujah, and rest in your bosom. There is rest for the weary. There is rest for the confused. There is rest for those who find themselves on the outs, hallelujah. Find themselves on the out when they should be in, hallelujah, interceding. In the covenant with the Lord, hallelujah, in his presence, resting well, because hallelujah, he is all up and through this, what, whatever is going on in our nation, hallelujah, settle down, we need you, Lord, hallelujah, settle down. We need you, Lord. So, Father God, we ask you to arrest the airways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are welcome on Facebook. You are welcome on Twitter. You are welcome on TikTok. You are welcome. The earth is the Lord in the full there, fullness thereof. Hallelujah. We need to start dedicating anything, hallelujah, that we are we partake of back to God so that it doesn't become an idol. Hallelujah. And so that we don't idly sit on the side hallelujah and watch hallelujah what happens to us hallelujah be spectators of our life do you know that you can be a spectator of your life so lord again i ask you to arrest the airways to mute the mouth of the enemy hallelujah Hallelujah, to shut down the witches, hallelujah, and the warlocks, hallelujah, and any demonic force that might try to come against your word from being spoken, your word from being released. You are welcome here where? You are welcome here in our life. You are welcome in my voice, hallelujah, are the words that are released, hallelujah, hallelujah. And as the words go forth, I believe it will not return void, but it shall prosper. Settle down. We need you, Lord. So I want to remind somebody, hallelujah, that when you praise, hallelujah, you are going to go through. You're going to get through, hallelujah. When you praise what happened, you're going to get a breakthrough. When you praise, God is going to show you and download blueprints. When you praise, how your growth and maturity happens. When you praise, you how you, you usher in peace, the peace of God, the presence of God, hallelujah. This is a year, hallelujah, when you should be running to the Father, submitted. 
This is a time, hallelujah, hallelujah, when the whole nation is humble, hallelujah, humble submission behavior before God, hallelujah. We need you, Lord. God bless you, Angela. Thanks for joining everybody on here. I ask you to share the broadcast, hallelujah, to share the meeting, hallelujah. The Lord said we come to meet, hallelujah. We come to pray, hallelujah, hallelujah, yes. <laughs> yes, keep your eyes on Jesus. How we are going to get to that, Angela. You are in the vein. So thank you for praying and be and being prepared behind the scenes. Hallelujah. The Lord says, settle down. We need so we're going to pray that the Lord settles it. Hallelujah. 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 As we humbly submit ourselves to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because all heaven is supposed to declare his glory. Hallelujah. And Psalms 19 1, the Lord says, the heaven displays his glory glory hallelujah how it displays his craftsmanship hallelujah hallelujah the skies the play displays his craftsmanship. so i'm going to slow down hallelujah hallelujah i don't even want to call this a prophetic word hallelujah this is a meeting of the minds hallelujah how a meeting of ministry a meeting of prayer a meeting of purity a meeting of his praise and we're going to honor the lord hallelujah and like i said we're going to dedicate the airways to the lord hallelujah we're going to death you know right now and hallelujah right now i am calling forth hallelujah the winds of heaven to blow hallelujah hallelujah and birth forth God's praise in the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. On the media, hallelujah. On the television, hallelujah, hallelujah. So the Lord just wanted me to come before you and remind you to settle down, hallelujah, and remind you that praise will get you through. Prayer will get you through. Humbly submitting yourself before the mighty hand of God will get you through. So Holy Ghost, hallelujah, right now in the name of Jesus, we read that dedicate this nation to you hallelujah the earth is the lord and the fullness thereof hallelujah the lord said settle down hallelujah the earth settled down hallelujah the nation settled down hallelujah the government settled down bow down hallelujah hallelujah to the glorious lord hallelujah to the king of king the lord the lord hallelujah your household needs to settle down and humbly submit yourself your children need to settle down hallelujah those you are contact need to settle down he said settle down and he's going to settle it thank you holy ghost the lord says settle down rest in him hallelujah hallelujah seek him i told you this is a, a year of seeking first the kingdom of god seek the lord gave me an acronym it means to sincerely engage hallelujah earnestly hallelujah acknowledge and acknowledge him hallelujah acknowledge who the, the king of king and the lord of lords hallelujah then it's then you will settle hallelujah you won't settle hallelujah hallelujah but you will surrender hallelujah hallelujah he's going to settle it hallelujah hallelujah when you acknowledge him first hallelujah hallelujah and then he's going to teach you how to walk hallelujah in the kingdom way hallelujah hallelujah and not settle for anything but he's going to settle it on your behalf hallelujah so i'm praying that fire 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 hallelujah Hallelujah. Will fall the fire of God, hallelujah, will fall on a nation. The fire of God, hallelujah, will fall on the airways. The fire of God will fall on every social media. We got to take social media back for the presence of God, the glory of God, hallelujah, so that God can turn things in the nation, hallelujah, hallelujah. God is going to settle it, hallelujah, when we humbly submit ourselves to God, hallelujah. We, we humbly submit our jobs, our businesses, our children. Our, our families, hallelujah, our lifestyle, hallelujah, hallelujah, it's not by luck, it's not by chance, hallelujah, that anything that is happening, now, it is by pride, hallelujah, it's by submitting yourself to the wrong things, hallelujah, it's by settling, hallelujah, hallelujah, and being casual, hallelujah, not running to God, hallelujah, and running to men, the Lord said, settle down, hallelujah, buckle down, hallelujah, and run, hallelujah, hallelujah, safely to the arms of the Father, hallelujah, so let me give you some scripture, hallelujah, and I want to remind somebody, hallelujah, it's time to faith up, I need somebody to put on there, it is time to faith up, if you want the fire of God to fall, I want to remind you that there's a couple things that faith don't do, faith don't fold, hallelujah, faith welcomes God, hallelujah, pound, faith welcomes God, 
Faith stands, hallelujah, in the midst of adversary. Faith doesn't run, but faith follows hard after God, hallelujah. Faith submits, hallelujah, and believes God the first time he said it. I'm going to say it. Faith up. It's time to faith up and not fold, not crumble. Hallelujah. You may feel crushed on every side, but I'm here to tell you he is with you. Hallelujah. You need to learn to say it is well with my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And never let your eyes deceive you. Hallelujah. Because God is always working behind the scenes on our behalf. He is always releasing his angelic help. He is always has the Holy Spirit go before us and prepare a way hallelujah so faith up hallelujah and don't fold hallelujah don't crumble hallelujah they, you, though you may feel crushed on every side hallelujah god will teach us how to bend like the trees do when the storms come hallelujah the palm trees don't fall hallelujah when the storm comes how they bend hallelujah they learn how to bob and weave this is going to be a season when you better learn how to bob and weave and you will find out what you are made of you will bend but you won't break because the breakthrough is in your praise the breakthrough will get you the praise will get you through hallelujah hallelujah but you better settle down hallelujah hallelujah and keep telling his story hallelujah hallelujah whose story they said history was made hallelujah this year hallelujah history was made last year there's always history going to be made hallelujah but how about the prophecy hallelujah hallelujah that jesus came hallelujah that he was coming and he's going to come again so the history that's going to be made is the his story hallelujah that we continue to tell hallelujah hallelujah until his coming hallelujah hallelujah so don't fold hallelujah hallelujah don't back down hallelujah because it's a faith fight so it's time for you to faith it hallelujah and guess what you will make it hallelujah hallelujah just remember his story is what that jesus saved jesus is alive jesus resurrect and the lord is going to resurrect hallelujah he's going to restore hallelujah he's going to redeem hallelujah hallelujah he's going to rectify some things hallelujah that's in the earth hallelujah he's going to wreck the rock he's going to redeem he's going to restore he's going to wreck but you better tell his story of his coming hallelujah that he is alive hallelujah he's going to pardon some sins hallelujah and he's going to welcome you home hallelujah hallelujah but it's time to faith up hallelujah faith follows hard after god hallelujah his story is what faith is strong faith forward hallelujah Faith welcomes God. Hallelujah. This is not a time to fold or waver on the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So commit your ways to the Lord. Hallelujah. And he's going to settle it. What? On your behalf. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So right now I'm asking for the fire of God to fall upon the church. Hallelujah. And I'm asking the Lord to bless every minister of the gospel, preacher, teacher, evangelist, anyone who calls on the name of the G Jesus, every child of God, I'm asking the fire of God to fall upon your household, hallelujah, so that you don't waver, so that you don't faint, hallelujah, and that you realize that it is settled on earth as it is in heaven, hallelujah faith strong hallelujah and i'm praying that your faith fell not hallelujah because what the church is under attack the kingdom of god is under attack so you're going to need to be strong in the lord and the power of his might hallelujah and so the word of the lord that came to me today hallelujah sometimes god has to commission you to go out he has to give you a push to go out to speak up to look up hallelujah hallelujah and see the salvation of the lord hallelujah and and this is the scripture he gave me. It was Joshua 1, hallelujah, 5. And it says, no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Hallelujah. You better faith up. You better look up and see the salvation of the Lord. Remember, the things that we see are temporal. So you're constantly watching the news. You're constantly listening to the bad things that are going on the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But remember, the things that are not seen are eternal. Hallelujah. So when you have a kingdom mindset, hallelujah, hallelujah, you, you have your heavenly minded. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know that the things that you see are temporal. The things that you touch are temporal. The things that you buy, hallelujah, could be broken, could be stolen. Hallelujah. Could be taken away from you. Hallelujah. But there's an eternal weight of glory. Hallelujah. When you hang in there and you allow God to settle it on your behalf, what? Whatever 
whatever is happening in your life that's turned topsy turvy, whatever settling your life that's turned upside down, allow God to settle it. Hallelujah. So the word of the Lord said, no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, hallelujah, this is the Lord talking to Joshua. He said, so will I be with you. I will not abandon you. Somebody need to know that God has not abandoned you. God has not left. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is ever present. Hallelujah. He always is and always will be. So he is settling it on your behalf, but you have to stay in there. You have to hang in there because I'm telling you, when you praise, you will get a breakthrough. Hallelujah. When you praise, God will show you a blueprint. When you praise, hallelujah, you will mature and grow up. Hallelujah. When you praise, you will see a result. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer invokes the voice of God. Hallelujah. Prayer. Hallelujah. It meets. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. What, what happens when you pray? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You connect with God, his word and his will and his way. Hallelujah. So somebody need to release prayer on the behalf of the nation. You need to re release prayer on the behalf of your household. Hallelujah. And God is going to settle it. He said, settle down. He said, settle down. Hallelujah. Settle down. Hallelujah. And he's going to settle it on your behalf. So I'm praying that the fire of God will fall on every household that is represented here. Hallelujah that the fire of God will fall on every minister. Hallelujah. Because right now, and I'm going to tell you, hallelujah, God has us in a humbling state, a humble, submissive state. Hallelujah. But guess what? Hallelujah. God will teach you how to recover. Hallelujah. God will not only just restore, he will redeem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will reconcile some things on your behalf. Hallelujah. He will renew your strength. Hallelujah. What the word says, they that wait. Hallelujah. So a humble, submissive um, state is a place of weight, a place of preparation, a place where God is preparing you, a place where God is restoring you and a place where God is protecting you. Let me say that again. A humble submissive state is a place where God is preparing you, where he's protecting you. Hallelujah. He's purifying you. When God humbles you, he's pure and he's purging you. Hallelujah. From the gook. Hallelujah. He's purging you and refining you. So I'm asking God to refine the church in this fine hour. Hallelujah. A time of that adversity, that's a great time for you to get back. Hallelujah. On track. Get back to the things of God. Get back to prayer. Get back to purity as God purges you. Hallelujah. He protects you. Hallelujah. And refines you for the fight. Because this is a faith fight. I said Faith doesn't waver. Faith doesn't fold. Hallelujah. This is a faith walk. Hallelujah. Faith follows hard after God. Hallelujah. And faith welcomes God. So the beginning of this year, I said, Lord, you are welcome here. You're welcome here in my heart. You're welcome in my household. You're welcome in the church. You're welcome on every social media outlet. Hallelujah. The church needs to start welcoming God in every facet of their life. Not just in the four walls. Not just on social media. Not just in their household. You need to be welcoming God in every fa Because too many ministers, too many people who call on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Has been exiting God out of everything. Have, have you know have been leaving God on the sidelines hallelujah been been leaning on their own understanding hallelujah and being um separated from God and they're wondering why hallelujah God had to humble the state God had to humble the nation how God had to uproot hallelujah he said he's going to settle it hallelujah in time he's going to settle it hallelujah but he had to humble us again hallelujah it wasn't enough that she was humbled in 2020 but he had to i'm gonna say it he had to humble us again hallelujah he had to humble the nation again hallelujah and so there's a process hallelujah there's purity that needs to be taking place there's purging that needs to be taking place hallelujah hallelujah and God, hallelujah, need to deal with the division, hallelujah, hallelujah, a divided house can't stand, hallelujah, hallelujah. So as God deals with you separately, hopefully in, in times to come, hallelujah, in the next couple months, hallelujah, hallelujah, we can be on one accord. But I know it's going to take some time, hallelujah, because there has been, um, there's some bruised eagles, 
Mm -hmm. I said there's some bruised eagles. Hallelujah. But guess what? God's going to teach you how to fly again when you submit. Hi, see. Hallelujah. So, Lord God, I ask you to release your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Your power, your demonstration on this year. I'm going to say it again. Lord, I ask you to release your Holy Spirit, your power, your demonstration. Hallelujah. When they were all on one accord, hallelujah, they were all filled. So, Lord, I'm asking you to fill the children of God again, to fill the ministers of God again. I'm asking you to tear down the idols in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your power, your presence, and your peace. I'm asking you to release it on every social media outlet. Hallelujah. And I'm asking you to uproot the demonic forces uproots the witchcraft hallelujah and the minions hallelujah that cause the vision hallelujah the minions that tear down hallelujah i'm asking you to uproot hallelujah and bring it to the surface hallelujah the Lord said, make no friends with no angry man. Hallelujah. So the Lord is going to reveal in some, going to re reveal to some of you guys, the ones that's causing discord and anger. Hallelujah. Among the camp. Hallelujah. That you are a part of. Hallelujah. So Lord, we thank you Lord for uprooting pride. Hallelujah. Uprooting disobedience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we thank you Lord that a pure and a contrite heart. Hallelujah. To ministers to the body of Christ. I'm crying out for a pure, a pure and a contrite heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That you will heal the broken in this hour. That you will heal those who need to be healed in their bodies and their minds in this hour. Hallelujah. I'm asking you to touch the minds of the believer. Hallelujah. So that their minds will be renewed and transformed. Hallelujah. And Lord, I'm thanking you for the testimonies. Hallelujah. Of the resurrection power of the Lord on social media. I'm thanking you, Lord, in advance for the testimonies, for the healings on social media. I thank you, Lord, that I believe that social media media will not be just a place of play. Hallelujah. My God, that will not be just a place of discord. That will not be just a place to gamble. Hallelujah. I'm praying Lord that social media, Lord, you would turn the tables for social media. Hallelujah. That people will start to say, what must I do to be saved? So Lord, I thank you for the fire of God. I thank you for surpassing our wisdom, our knowledge, and our understanding. Hallelujah. I thank you for the humble, submissive behavior. Hallelujah. For the body of Christ. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Again, Lord, I ask you to infiltrate social media. The Lord is really honest because this has been a demonic agenda. Hallelujah. First social media was to be social. Hallelujah. But it was infiltrated. Hallelujah. By the wicked. Hallelujah. By the wayward. Hallelujah. And those with agendas. Hallelujah. To tear down. Hallelujah. The people of God. Hallelujah. But the devil is a liar. Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Hallelujah. That's the word of God. And everything in between the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. So I'm asking the Lord to turn the tables, how to turn the tide. Hallelujah. So Lord, we thank you for your fullness. Hallelujah. So we will call on you and commune with you this year. We will engage with you this year. Hallelujah. We will listen this year. Hallelujah. We will learn from you this year, your, your word. Hallelujah. We will follow your divine instructions this year. Hallelujah. And we will declare the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. We will declare that Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. We thank you for your resurrection. We will be witnesses of um, the Lord. Hallelujah. In the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By not just by words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But by our love. Hallelujah. We will be witness of the Lord in the earth. Not by word. Hallelujah. But by God's might and his power. Hallelujah. But mainly by God's love. Hallelujah. So Lord, we thank you. So I encourage you today. Hallelujah. To focus hallelujah focus on god hallelujah focus on the kingdom hallelujah and focus on listening hearing and receiving the word of god and focus on the instructions that god dearly hallelujah gives to you hallelujah focus on following instructions hallelujah and God is going to restore those, hallelujah, who've been down trying to God is going to tear down the walls, hallelujah, when you praise, when you pray and you posture yourself to receive, hallelujah, what? The glory of the Lord. And Lord, I thank you for your glory falling on social media. I thank you for your glory falling on every household represented here. I thank you for your glory falling on the churches, hallelujah. And Lord, I thank you for the reconstruction of the church and the mindset of those that are church, the mindset of those that are religious hallelujah i thank you for re 
construction, rebuilding, hallelujah. And I thank you, Lord, for mobilizing your people, hallelujah, who seek you first, mobilizing your people who engage, mobilizing your people who have a heart, hallelujah, to see souls saved, hallelujah, souls win, souls deliver. And thank you, Lord, for mobilizing your people to evangelize, hallelujah, to do missions, hallelujah, hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, for mobilizing your people to be on a mission, hallelujah, hallelujah, for the great commission, hallelujah, to go out into all the world. Hallelujah. The Lord said for, to me, from mobile to global, hallelujah, when I first stepped out in faith and obedience, hallelujah, on the call of God, from mobile to global. So use your platform, hallelujah, for the glory of God, hallelujah, to remind people that Jesus saves, Jesus healed, D Jesus delivered, and he has his resurrection power, hallelujah, and greater is in Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. So, Lord, I ask you to resurrect the airways. Hallelujah. We're taking back the airways for Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For mobilization. Hallelujah. The glory of the Lord is risen tonight. Hallelujah. The glory, I decree and declare that the glory of the Lord is risen tonight, that the glory of the Lord shall be seen on social media. Hallelujah. No more playing games. Hallelujah. The tables are going to turn. Hallelujah. When you seek and engage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The knowledge of God. Hallelujah. The Lord said he's dropping some nuggets this year. Hallelujah. But you got to be able to seek. Hallelujah. You got to be able to obey. You got to be able to serve. Hallelujah. And you better be humbly submitted to the most high God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. The Lord said, remember to always remember to pray for your leaders. Hallelujah. And ask in faith and do not waver. Hallelujah. Believers ask in faith and do not waver. So I'm praying that the fire of God falls on this broadcast. The fire of God falls on social media, every social media outlet. Hallelujah. 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 And I'm praying that God will uproot the demonic forces that try to hinder the body of Christ from releasing their words. The ones that try to hinder, hallelujah, Facebook lives from going forth. The ones that try to hinder, hallelujah, the men and women of God, hallelujah, for blessing others. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You better step back because God's going to settle it. Hallelujah. He said, settle down and let him settle it. Hallelujah. What did the word of God said? He said, I will be with you and I will not abandon you. I will not leave you. He has never left. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even if you make your bed in hell, he is. So I'm praying, hallelujah, that the refiner fire transforms everybody on here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That he transforms your heart. Hallelujah. He purifies your heart. Hallelujah. I'm praying that he refines you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That a mighty purge comes. Hallelujah. I'm praying that he fully restores those that are broken. Hallelujah. I'm praising, praying that he, the ones that have been hidden for a season. Hallelujah. I'm praying that he push you forward. Hallelujah. To preach the gospel, to teach and minister the word of God. Hallelujah. With conviction. Hallelujah. With courage. Hallelujah. And with the lion's roar. I said it. I'm praying that he pushes those that have been hidden. Hallelujah. Forward. Hallelujah. To preach and teach. Hallelujah. With thus say of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is not a time to shut up. Hallelujah. This is not a time to backtrack hallelujah for god i live hallelujah hallelujah and for god i die hallelujah the word of the lord is in my belly hallelujah it is not me even the word that i preach hallelujah his word not will not fail and it will not return void hallelujah so i'm praying hallelujah that he he pushes forward the hidden ones hallelujah to speak a word in season hallelujah without fear without intimidation because what the faithful ones follow hard after god hallelujah and god will not fail you hallelujah you he can't fail you hallelujah he hasn't failed you. He can't fail you. Hallelujah. You will not fail when you follow hard after God. The faithful ones, hallelujah, hallelujah, they are faith strong, hallelujah, hallelujah, and they welcome God in every area of their life, hallelujah, and I pray that God will take you to a new level of ingenuity, hallelujah. I said it. That's what the word of the Lord said. I pray that the Lord will take you to new levels of ingenuity, hallelujah, new levels and new courses, hallelujah, new courses to face up new levels of discernment hallelujah discerning of spirits hallelujah because you're going to be able to you you're going to need to know what's coming next hallelujah there's a next big thing there's always a next big disturbance in the earth hallelujah did you hear what i said there's gonna there's always a next 
big disturbance, hallelujah, and so you won't be unsettled, hallelujah, so you be strictly at peace, strictly at rest, hallelujah, do you know that when you run track, hallelujah, when you work out, hallelujah, you have arrested um, blood pressure, hallelujah, and then you have a blood pressure that um, goes out of whack, hallelujah, if you're not at your resting state, hallelujah, so I decree and decree, hallelujah, that when the next big disturbance come in the house, how, uh, in the earth, you will not be unsettled, hallelujah, but you will be at peace, hallelujah, because God is going to instruct you in his way, hallelujah, this is a year for new paths to dwell in, hallelujah, I already said it, this year has not happened before, hallelujah, hallelujah, there's nothing the same as last year, hallelujah, the, yeah, COVID is still here, hallelujah, we're um, still in um, a pandemic, but for you and your household, hallelujah, this is a new year, that we started a new decade last year, but this year has never happened before, hallelujah, never, hallelujah, so you need to be doing some new things, you need to be declaring some new things, you need to be on a new level of prayer, a new level of praise. You need to brought this year in praising God. Hallelujah. With sing, uh, songs. Hallelujah. You need to, sh you should have brought this year in. Hallelujah. Humbly submitted to God. Hallelujah. But you can start today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Lord, we thank you for new levels. Hallelujah. And I thank you, Lord, for leading us. Hallelujah. Supernaturally. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's what the Lord said, that there's a new disturbance. Hallelujah. A supernatural event. Hallelujah. That will soon occur. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is going to actually set some things straight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Set some things in balance. Thank you. That's that's why a prophet writes down the word. I have, he said it's going to be a new disturbance. Hallelujah. That's going to occur. That's going to set some things straight set some things in, in balance, but first it's going to appear to be unsettling. Hallelujah. Isn't it just like God? Hallelujah. All things work together for the good of those who are called to the Lord and called by his purpose. Hallelujah. There's going to be a new, another disturbance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word he said, disturbance, that's going to appear to be unsettling, but it's going to settle some things. That's why the Lord said, settle down. Ha <laughs> ha. Settle down. But you got to be connected to him so you're prepared. Hallelujah. So you don't get unsettled. So you don't crumble. So you don't fold. Hallelujah. What did he say? They that wait upon the Lord, he will renew your strength. Hallelujah. So, Lord, I thank you for a renewing of strength for the gospel leaders. Hallelujah. For the ministers. Hallelujah. And the Lord told me that this year is going to be a wonderful wave. Hallelujah. Of praise and worship. Hallelujah. Praise and worship. Hallelujah. is going to usher in revival. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you guys better get in to your praise and worship. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord leads you to men and women. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That are full of faith. That are on fire for God. Hallelujah. That worship in spirit and truth. And you better worship in spirit of truth so you don't lose it. There are many people who are going to say they're losing in their mind. Think they're losing their mind. Hallelujah. Because their finances are not right. Because people, hallelujah, are failing them. Hallelujah. The Lord said, when your mother or father forsake you, then will he lift you up. You better settle down. Hallelujah. So as that new disturbance comes in the earth, the Lord said it's going to appear to be very unsettling, but he is going to settle it and it's going to balance some things out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's just saying God is God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you better stay connected. You better stay communing. Hallelujah. You better stay in God's face. This is a year you better stay in God's face and stay out of the face of the adversary. Stop working for the adversary with slander. You know the enemy can use you. He can use you to slander your brother and sister. He can use you to tear people down. And don't get in the, don't get into the mode of tearing down people. Hallelujah. Because they don't agree with you. Don't get into the mode of tearing. That's that's immature. This is a this is another level, hallelujah, that grieves the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Don't get into that. Hallelujah. 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 I'm gonna just leave that right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is time to faith up. Hallelujah. Don't crumble. Hallelujah. Don't follow the cry, but follow the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Lord will allow your light to shine. The Lord is near to you. All that that call on the Lord. Hallelujah. Call upon him. That is in Psalms 146, 18. That was the other scripture he told me to remind you that he's near. 
Hallelujah. God is ever present. That's why he wanted me to remind you that this is, this is definitely going to be a year. Somebody put that on there. This is going to be, I'm decreeing it, that this is going to be a year of results for me. And God is going to settle it on my behalf. Even when it, things seem to be disturbed, when there's a big disturbance in the land. Hallelujah. When it's chaos in the land, the Lord said he's going to settle it and balance it out. Hallelujah. What appears to be a disturbance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's temporary because God is going to settle it. He's going to settle it. He says, settle down, rest in him, but you can't rest in him unless you're following hard after him. Unless you run to him. Hallelujah. God says stop running with the crowd. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the crowd will cross, cause you to crumble. The, the crowd will cause you to question God. The, the crowd will call you to quest, question your call. God said stop running with the crowd. Because the crowd has crowded you enough that you cannot hear God's voice. This is for somebody that's on now because that just came in my spirit. God says stop running with the crowd because the crowd has been crowding you long enough. And you can't distinguish from God's voice, the crowd's voice. And the enemy that is just making a whole mess of things. Hallelujah. The adversary knows how to shake you. This is the year of the shaking and the making. That's, the, that's what the Lord gave me December the 30th. This is a year of the shaking and the making. How are you going to be made? Are you going to allow God to mold you in his way to refine you, to purify you from? And I said, the Lord said, this is the time to detach. Hallelujah. From any impurities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I started a new diet. I'm doing that whole thirties where I don't have sugars. I don't have car. It's, it's like a detox the first couple of weeks. Hallelujah. I started getting addicted to sugar. Hallelujah. I didn't even realize I didn't used to like sugar. Mine was salt. But anyway, I'm sharing that with, with someone that it's also a time for you to, if not just to detox your body, but it's also a time for you to detox, hallelujah, what you see. Detox from that. Detox from what you hear. I, I've, I've been telling you, God, the Lord said, cut out the noise. Hallelujah. Whatever is loudest in your ear is going to influence you. How, so some of you need to stop listening to everything on TV. Some of you need to stop following certain people on social media. Yeah, I said it. The Lord had been said that. He said, close your ears from the noise, from anything that's louder than God, from anything that you're idolizing that you don't even realize you idolize. This is the year of the shaking and the making. So how are you allowed? How is God making you? Are you letting him refine you? Are you letting the, the enemy sculpture you? Because the any the enemy can sculpture you into who he wants you to be. So stop following the crowd because the crowd has been crowding crowding you so much, hallelujah, that you cannot hear the voice of God. Me too, Courtney. I started that last year. Me too, sis. I, it's certain people I can't even listen to and I don't have anything bad to say about them, but they don't feed. If you're not feeding my spirit, my God, hallelujah. I will listen to somebody I've never listened to for, but instantly there will be a check in my spirit. But if there's not, if they're not feeding my spirit, if they're not edifying God, magnifying God, hallelujah, and that the Holy Spirit is not all up and through it, then I just can't listen to just voices. I can't just listen to sounding symbols. And I definitely don't listen to people just because other people listen to people. People send me um, videos all the time. Hallelujah. I might clip, click on it to check it out, but I can't just listen to sound. Somebody needs to hear that. I can't just listen to sound. I can't, I am not, I've never been one to just go with the crowd. Ha, there were, there was times in my life in school where I didn't have friends <laughs> cause I can't follow the crowd because I know the crowd, the crowd will lead you down a slippery slope. And there are too many ones who call on the name of Jesus that have been led down a slippery slope. And you have to first be able to hear God for yourself before you can recognize God in someone else. I can recognize God in someone else 
easily. But where I'm going right now, I, I, my God. I'm just going to say we, we have to grow up and, and not everybody that you, you decide that the Lord tell you to turn them off. They may not be bad people, but they might not be going where you're going. The voice of God might not be in them. And also you need to be listening to people. Hallelujah. That has surpassed a certain level of maturity. My God, my, I don't know how you can support people, but people who are seeding into you spiritually, you need to be listening to people who surpass you spiritually. Hallelujah. Um, yeah. Anyway, anyway, yeah, yeah. I can't follow crowd. So anyway, so that's basically what the Lord gave me to give you guys is to settle down, settle in your heart that this is a, this is a time of shaking and making. We need to be praying for our nation, praying for the kingdom of God, praying for our churches, praying, putting your house on the altar, putting your children on the altar, putting your relationships on the altar. You need to be doing a spiritual check. Hallelujah. For every area of your life and ask God to balance it out because what has happened, the kingdom of God has been unbalanced, imbalanced for so long. Hallelujah. And what does the Lord say? An unjust weight is an abomination unto the Lord. So the kingdom of God, hallelujah, has been in balance for so long. We know that. We've seen it, right? We've seen all the discord. We've seen all the messiness. We've seen all the and immorality has been, you know, for so long, the kingdom of God has been in balance and not running to God, not submitted to God. They, I don't know who they've been submitted to. They've been submitted to men. They've been submitted to their own, you know, lust and, um, but been, hallelujah said, this is new life all on its own. This is a new life. Okay. I, I'm not sure what you're saying, Courtney, but anyway, um, all I know is refuse to settle, refuse to be devalued and allow God to purify you. Hallelujah. Um, and just thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That he is still in the building. I, I just, I don't know how else to say it. God is in the building. He's all up and through this. Even if God, God knows, hallelujah. He knows the beginning from the end. This didn't take him by surprise. Hallelujah. And, but I pray hallelujah that God will give you a divine surprise this year. The Lord told me that this is going to be a year full of surprises. So hopefully you get some of the good ones. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray that surely goodness and mercy. So follow you all the days of your life and that God will bless you with some of those, um, blessed surprises I see because the Lord told me that this was also going to be a year full of surprises. And don't you know, there are some good surprises and there's some surprises that just take you aback. Hallelujah. So I decree in the career, hallelujah, that this year, hallelujah, is dedicated to God. I decree in the career, hallelujah, that this household is dedicated, that this heart is dedicated, that this mind is dedicated to God. Somebody needs to decree in the career, hallelujah, that hallelujah, the Lord, hallelujah, for God I live, hallelujah, for God I die, hallelujah. I decree and declare, hallelujah, that this year is the Lord, that this month is the your Lord's, hallelujah, that the 12 months is the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. I decree and declare that my mind is stayed on Jesus and I will not waver, hallelujah. I decree and declare that I am a mouthpiece for the Lord, hallelujah. I decree and declare that I will take a stand for righteousness and I will not waver on the word, hallelujah, hallelujah. I decree and declare that I am faith strong, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if I have to stand alone, hallelujah, and declare the name of the Lord, that's what I'll, that's what I will do. <laughs> Lord, you are welcome here. We thank you for joining us tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you for your presence, Lord, and we thank you for your power. So Lord, I, I reiterate, hallelujah, hallelujah. And I ask you, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, to grace. So, so, you know, the Lord can, he graces us with things. So I ask the Lord to grace social, social media media, hallelujah, with his presence, to grace social media with his power, to grace social media with his strength and with his healing, hallelujah, and I thank you, Lord, for detoxing us from every impurity, hallelujah, every impure word, hallelujah, detox us, Lord, hallelujah, from every impure thought, hallelujah, detox us, Lord, from anything that we have put in our body thus far, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, that doesn't rid us, Lord, hallelujah, of scum, rid us of residue, because you know, every impurity, hallelujah, that you take in, whether it's via your eyes, whether, you know, because we flow in intake and outtake, right, you know, hallelujah, we intake something with our nose and with our mouth, we breathe it 
it in, hallelujah. So it needs to come out, hallelujah. So I ask the Lord to detox us all. Anybody on here, hallelujah, who has intake, any impurity, any daily thing, any poisonous thing, hallelujah, that the Lord will rid us, hallelujah, of the residue. Because anything, hallelujah, that's impure, it leaves behind a residue. Drugs, if you do drugs, it leaves behind a residue. It affects your body in some way. If you intake some sexual immorality while watching something on TV, hallelujah, or seeing something on your eyes, um, it leaves behind a residue. It leaves behind a memory, right? If you intake any negative words by hearing somebody talk about your brother, your sister, it leaves behind a memory. It leaves behind residue. So right now, and I'm, I'm decreeing and carry hallelujah, that the Lord would detox us of impurities, of any residue in the name of Jesus, that we place it on the altar. Anything that you have taken in since January 1, because the, the clock started over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God gives us another chance every day. Hallelujah. But some of you guys are still not getting it. I told you that this is the year of seek the lord didn't tell me to drop a heavy word this year hallelujah to prophesy the whole year he said tell my people to seek me tell my people to pray tell my people to engage and not leave me as an afterthought as an atm he said tell my people to pray hallelujah and they will produce and they will progress he said tell my people to pray hallelujah 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 and they will bear much fruit he said, tell my people to pray and I will heal the land. Tell my people to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I will settle some things. Hallelujah. They will see, receive breakthroughs. Tell my people to pursue me. Hallelujah. And to engage, to encounter me, to um, encourage others and tell others about me. He said, tell my people about me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That I will never leave them. That even if they make their bed in hand, that he's never left the building. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't let the enemy deceive you because you had a season, hallelujah, hallelujah, where you felt, hallelujah, alone, where you had a season, hallelujah, where things were starting to crumble on every side, where you perplexed on every side, hallelujah, then God will lift you up, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. And we we are repent, Lord, if we've been deceived. Hallelujah. We, we, we repent if we've been de deceived by the enemy. Hallelujah. By the wicked one. Hallelujah. That you have left us alone. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. Lord, we thank you for the great turnaround. Hallelujah. And we thank you for the shaking and the making. May God make you and mold you in his way. Hallelujah. May you receive your breakthrough. May you receive your healing. And may the power of God overshadow any negative negative thing in your life. I'm praying that the power of God will sh overshadow all the negative negativity on social media, that the power of God will overshadow, hallelujah, the, the, your bank account statement. May the power of God, hallelujah, may God fill it up. May God fill you up, hallelujah, spiritually. May the power of God overshadow any negativity at your church, any negativity, hallelujah, hallelujah, in your family. May the power of God, hallelujah, rest rule and reign hallelujah in your life hallelujah so lord we dedicate the airways to you we dedicate our households to you you are welcome here every time i get on i'm going to remind hallelujah you that god is welcome in my life that god is welcome in my heart hallelujah that there is no me without him hallelujah hallelujah i humbly submit myself to god i humbly submit the ministry to God. Hallelujah. I humbly submit my family to God. Hallelujah. I am nothing without God. Hallelujah. He is my rock. He is my shield. He is my strength. Hallelujah. A present help in a time of trouble. Hallelujah. I pray, hallelujah, that this broadcast tonight, hallelujah, has encouraged you, that you have been reminded God is settling some things on your behalf and that God is a present help in the time of trouble. And even even though he told me that there is a disturbance that is coming, that's going to be unsettling. Hallelujah. But he's going to set things into place. It's going to appear a certain way and God is going to come in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And rescue his remnant. How he's going to come in. Hallelujah. And restore his remnant. He's going to come in and redeem the hallelujah. Those who need to be redeemed. He's going to come in. Hallelujah. And love on you. Hallelujah. Because what? Hallelujah. He's ever present and the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. 
So God bless you all, and I pray that God will continue to restore you back, hallelujah, to your original state, hallelujah, hallelujah, and that you will not forget but acknowledge engage hallelujah and sincerely seek god hallelujah that is the scripture for the year matthew 6 33 hallelujah sincerely seek god hallelujah and pray hallelujah until you see some things pray without ceasing hallelujah meditate on the word day and night hallelujah and observe to do therein hallelujah pick up the word of god dust it off hallelujah 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 this is how god speaks to us hallelujah god speaks through his words god speaks through dreams and visions god speaks when you pray listen hear and receive him and do his instructions hallelujah god gives instructions but you gotta hear so god bless you all if you like to see it into the ministry Cash app, break a prayer, hallelujah. Yes, I am always going to encourage you, hallelujah, to seed, hallelujah. Because, hallelujah, in your, when you seed, hallelujah, what happens, hallelujah? God, hallelujah, um, what does God do? He returns this receipt. You recover, hallelujah. What happened, hallelujah? When you sow a seed, hallelujah, it flourishes, hallelujah. I haven't sowed a seed that didn't grow. Sometimes you, you will not see the harvest in that season, hallelujah. But anytime somebody sees it to me, I pray that you will have an instant return, a rapid return, hallelujah, hallelujah. So what I say, sow and grow, hallelujah, hallelujah. So continue to sow, hallelujah, hallelujah. Even in a pandemic, continue to sow into ministers of God. Continue to sow where God leads you. Hallelujah. Because every seed that you sow, hallelujah, will have a harvest. Hallelujah. It's a principle of God. Hallelujah. And I always say the people on the outside, hallelujah, the lawless ones, those in Hollywood, those philanthropists, they, um, they utilize the principles of God. They don't follow God. They don't love God, but they will utilize the principles of God, principles of God. And that's why they're never broke. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God bless you all. Have a wonderful night. Um, I plan on being back next week to join you guys. Um, but prayerfully, hallelujah, continually to ask. And I'm going to pray this on you. Um, Acts 1 8 says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be witnesses in, in Jerusalem, Jeru Jerusalem, and in the Ju Judea and Samaria, and to the other parts of the earth. Hallelujah. I need to slow down. So I want to pray that, hallelujah, that the um, Holy Spirit will fall upon you if you have not received the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, so he can lead and guide you. He is the spirit of truth, hallelujah. He speaks clearly, hallelujah. He leads, he guides, he He um, directs us. God said he will prepare a table, hallelujah. He goes before us, hallelujah. He gives us insight, hallelujah. He um. He's the discerner of thoughts, hallelujah. So you can come in the midst, hallelujah. And the Lord said, uh-uh, it's something not right about this situation. That's that checking your spirit, how that's the voice of God, hallelujah. So you need the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to pray that you receive power, hallelujah, and you receive the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, because this year you're going to need some instructions. You're going to need new levels of instruction. You're going to need some blueprints, hallelujah, to guide you, hallelujah, do during this pandemic, during this chaos in the land, hallelujah. And we're going to ask the Lord, hallelujah, to reveal, hallelujah, and convict those, hallelujah, that need to be convicted, hallelujah, and to bring to justice those that need to be brought to justice because God is a God of justice. Hallelujah. Yeah, I said it. God is a God of jealous, justice. Hallelujah. And he's a jealous God. And I'm going to pray that the Lord show you what is idle, what's idle about you, how, you know, um, and, um, yeah, that's it. So God bless you. Keep telling his story. Hallelujah. Because every year is a history making year. It, it cracks me up when you, if you watch the news and they say it's history in the making. Every year is a history making. It, there's something that happens every year that's going to be written in, in the books for history, right? Every year is a hit maker. And guess who's the hit maker? God is the hit maker. Somebody put that on it. God is the hit maker. And every year is history in the making. And I'm going to continue telling his story. Hallelujah. That Jesus lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That Jesus saved. Jesus directs, directs. He redeems. He restores. Hallelujah. He is the lover of my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Don't forget to tell somebody about Jesus because this is the year also of the outbound faith. Hallelujah. May you outwardly share your faith. Hallelujah. May you minister to people in the street, in the Walmarts. Hallelujah. At your jobs. At, um... I used, to, I used to work at the hospital, minister to people at the hospital, hallelujah, wherever you find yourself at, hallelujah, do it as unto the Lord, hallelujah, outbound faith, pound, outbound faith, and I'm going to try to say that on every live this year, may this be the year, hallelujah, where you walk by faith and not by sight, hallelujah, and you lean not on your own, understand, may this be the year, hallelujah, where you don't just talk about it, that, but you be about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because guess what? I'm about my father's business. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Jesus saves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the devil is defeated. He's under our feet and all power is in the Lord's hand. God bless you all. Thank you for joining. Please share the broadcast. Amen.